Getting an engineering degree is one of the most difficult fields to major in. People aren't able to succeed. They either drop out, fail, or take much longer than anticipated. So I thought I would make a video as to the different things and habits that I've picked up in order for me to be successful in engineering and graduate in four years. So with that, let's get started. Hello, my name is Sarah, and this channel goes over all things engineering, personal finance, and personal development. So with that, I'm gonna get right into it. The first habit that I developed in order for me to be successful in computer engineering and pass all the classes is to read the syllabus. When the semester started and the professors went over the different books that we needed. I'd look in the syllabus and look for when the exams were, if there were any quizzes, and how much each of those quizzes are worth or how much each of those exams were worth. I would check those dates and make sure that I cleared my schedule at least a week before that test so that I wasn't stressed about having to study or show up for the exam. So that was the first thing I did when I started class. And it really helped me in the long run because I was able to plan ahead of time. There were no unexpected expected things that came up because I made sure there wasn't. I knew what to expect and what to prioritize. So if the midterm was worth more than most or all of the quizzes, then I would focus more on the material from the midterm than I ever would on the quizzes. Vice versa, if the quizzes ended up adding up to about the same amount as a midterm, I would focus heavily on those quizzes and make sure that I was paying attention during the class just in case I'd be tested on that. The next habit that I developed was to ask questions. Now, a lot of the times people are afraid to ask questions and I was one of them. So it took me a while to develop this habit, but by the third and fourth year, I wasn't afraid to ask any questions. I would ask the TA, I would ask the professor, mainly because they were the ones who knew the answers, but I would also ask every now and then a classmate if I was struggling, really struggling on a problem. It was rare that I did that, but it was something I would do if I really needed help. And just asking those questions, it was tough at first, but it not only helped me be more comfortable and confident in asking questions, but it also helped me understand what exactly I was asking and what I was looking for. So it helped me better understand the problem and the solution to that problem. Being able to understand that helped me retain that information. So when it, the test rolled around, I was able to answer that question or answer a similar question because I knew that material, I had learned it, because I forced myself to. The TA or the professor would explain to me why the answer is the way it is, and that helped me better understand that material. The third one is mindset. This isn't necessarily a habit more so as it is just a way of being. This is just how I was and have been my whole life, which is to just continue forward no matter the obstacles or the struggles. I was very consistent and I really wanted to do well in school. It was something that was foreign to me to fail a class because that has never happened. It never happened in high school. So I honestly had such high expectations for myself that if I were to get a C or lower, then I would start to panic. I did not want to fail a class, so I did everything I could to get a passing grade. It didn't matter if I was crying in the middle of the night from stress or so lost and confused and I had no idea what I was doing. I just continued to go forward. I just kept saying to myself, you know what? Suck it up. This is only a temporary inconvenience and you, I'm going to do everything I can to pass these classes. I don't care if I'm stressed. I don't care if I'm crying. All I care is about the upcoming test or quiz or assignment and getting a passing grade for each one so that eventually I will pass the overall class. And that was my mindset. I just took it one day at a time, one test at a time, one homework assignment at a time until I was able to get through all four years of my degree. And again, it's something that's more of like, you have to have that in you. Maybe it can be developed with certain habits, but it's more of like a thought process than anything else. So the next thing I did to help me become successful is by doing all the questions or problems that I knew the answers to first. If there was a test or homework assignment, I would go through each question and I would fill out all the ones that I knew the answer to. Most of the time, especially for freshmen and sophomores, the exams and quizzes are timed. So being able to answer those questions that I knew helped me with my score because I was able to get more answers in before the time went up. It also gave me more time to analyze the questions I didn't know and try to understand how I could answer it to the best of my ability and explain that answer. So at the very least, I'll get partial points for that question, which again, translates to the overall score in that 
class. Now the next habit that I had that helped me be successful in engineering and pass all my classes is exercising and eating healthy. Um, I know it's not related at all to like studying or work or anything like that, but honestly having and living a healthier lifestyle not only helped me with my energy levels, but it also helped me focus on the problem or the answer and understanding the material that much better. And while I was doing that, I would study a question or I would listen to a lecture. And that actually helped me retain the information better than if I were to just be sitting there because I would either A, fall asleep, or B, I'm not moving, I'm not active, so my brain isn't as stimulated, if that makes sense. And then eating healthy helped in the long run because I was able to have more energy and focus on studying. I was able to study for longer and it keep my attention span for longer longer in order to digest the material or to answer the questions or to understand the problem in the exam. So all of those things I think are very important and are very in intertwined and never once did I not get a full night's sleep. I never once pulled an all-nighter to study for a test the next morning. To me, that never worked. I never liked doing that. And I knew for a fact that I would not be able to remember the information. My mind would be kind of like a, a scattered blob of information and I wouldn't be able to form maybe even a coherent sentence, uh, let alone answer a mathematical problem. Just having a healthier lifestyle in general helps overall, not only just in your engineering degree, but also in life. So the last habit that I developed that helped me be successful in engineering is by studying a week before the exam. So this varies person to person, but for me, I started to study the material that the exam was going to cover at least a week beforehand, and I would study the material that I was most familiar with. As the days went on, I would start studying the material that I knew, just making sure that I still remembered it, um, reiterating it to myself. And then a day or so before the exam, I would study all the material that I was unfamiliar with or I didn't know, or I would focus on the questions that I didn't know the answer to yet. I would solve it and try to figure out why is the answer the way it is. That would help me better understand the actual problem and the solution. That's how I was able to study for the exams. If I gave myself any longer, I wouldn't remember the information that I studied for, but if I only gave myself two or three days, that wouldn't be enough to cover all the information I didn't know or to understand the information so that I'll be able to answer those problems later on. It's something that is very complicated, especially with computer engineering or engineering in general, because those exams are not something that is regurgitation. You can't just memorize something or memorize formulas and answer the problem. You have to understand how to use that formula and what the question is asking in order to properly use that formula or use a different formula depending on the question and then from there you have to also figure out okay well here's this answer but is that the actual answer you have to dig a little deeper and make sure that the units are converted or make sure that you need to apply that number to a different formula so all of those things are intertwined and unless you know the information or understand what the question is asking you won't be able to solve the problem, even if you have all the formulas. So that's the main thing that makes engineering so difficult, and that's why I study at least a week in advance. So yeah, those are all the habits I developed and the mindset that I had in order to be successful in engineering. So I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any other video suggestions, please leave a comment down below, and if you'd like to see similar videos, please feel free to subscribe, and thank you for watching.